Hello and welcome to the lightning chart presentation video. My name is Peter and today I will be showing you some key features of the lightning chart. In this first part of video we will get through some examples of what you can achieve with lightning chart. Here you can see simple two-dimensional graphs built with our API. All charts are interactive, you can navigate through them with a the mouse, scale the chart and select information to show using checkboxes. While programming your chart, you are able to customize user interface, for example including a scroll bar in the bottom of the chart, as we see here. Lightning Chart DM application also provides a fast access to source code for all presented charts. The code can be displayed both in C Sharp and Visual Basic. Here you can see a real time chart with different scrolling options. This is an example of interactive trading chart. Here you can see oscilloscope and multi-channel data visualization. Business dashboard example consists of several charts and displays the product sales information for selected months. Here is a heat map example where you can select different filling methods. Intensity Grid series has mouse tracking features built in. This is a real time environmental data simulation. As you can see, Lightning Chart is also capable of rendering 3D meshes with lots of polygons. This simulation shows a globe with a height map, which displays flight routes. Lightning Chart can also be used for audio spectrum visualization. Here you can see a spectrogram. It has one axis for time, another one for signal frequency and the third axis, power spectrum, is presented here as a color. On this next chart you can also see a spectrogram with multiple channels. This is a visualization of a real whistle sound. With Lightning Chart you can create visualization in Polar Coordinate System as well. In the end of this part of video we will perform a benchmark, drawing 1 million points with Lightning Chart. You may see the results on the screen. No down sampling is used in the rendering process. You can always zoom in and examine each data point. In this part of video we will create a simple real-time chart in Visual Studio 2012. We will start by creating new WPF project. In the XAML code we can adjust the main window size as we want. After that open a Visual Studio toolbox and add Lightning Chart Ultimate element from there. This element is available after installing our SDK. 
you can adjust chart size as you prefer. Important thing to do here is to add a name property to the chart element. Moving on to the C-sharp code, we start with defining proper libraries that we will use. We add four variables to the class, which we will need, such as counter and random variable. Now we can modify the class constructor. We initialize variables and define a timer, as we will need it in our real-time chart. We also add a tick function to our class, which works with timer. We will fill it later. Let's put the whole chart creation code in separate function create chart and call it from constructor. Moving on to the create chart function, we use method begin update to disable rendering for the proper chart update. Next, we use drop series data property of our Lightning Chart Ultimate object to make sure that outscrolled data is removed from memory. To work with the Lightning Chart API, we will need to add several library calls to our code, such as axis and series xy for the two dimensional chart. Then we can configure the axis for our chart. You can customize the data type for each axis and visible axis range, as far as many other parameters. Next thing is to create a point line series object. Point line series is the simplest type of a two dimensional data visualization, and we will be using it in our chart. We set the line color for our chart to yellow, and we are good to go. Now we add our point line series to Lightning Chart object and finish the function with end update, which enables rendering after it was disabled with begin update. We are using timer to make our chart dynamic, so now we will work on timer tick function, which will be called every 30 milliseconds. Let's generate a random data for the y axis every tick. For that purpose, we will create one more function, calculate y value. This function takes the y axis data from previous tick and randomly increases or decreases it. We add generated points to the point line series and finish the function with end update to enable rendering again. Let's test our application. It works, but we don't see any chart. Now, apparently the problem is that we are using the wrong version of time span function. Let's fix it. Now the timer should tick every 30 milliseconds. We see that our application works. However, the legend box is not needed for our simple chart. Let's remove it. Okay, now everything works as we want. This concludes part 2 of our video. Let's get through some features of our API. Lightning Chart has outstanding chart rendering speed, it supports WPF and Windows Forms and provides a lot of instruments for 2D and 3D visualization. By purchasing Lightning Chart, you get full technical support through email or our forum. You can download a trial version of Lightning Chart Ultimate on our website. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching.